you ever wonder why your PC takes so long to boot or it takes so long when you log on? Well, this program from System Terminals will tell you exactly what's going on as you boot your computer and when you log on. The program is called Auto Runs and you can easily download it from their site. Just go to Google, type System Terminals Auto Runs, search, and click on the first uh, search result. It will take you right to their website and you can read uh, more information here if you want but if you want to download it and get going with it just scroll down to see the download link just click on it and download the autoruns.zip when you download it unzip it and just click on the executable there's no installation needed for this that's one of the great things about this program when you run it this is what you get uh, you'll get a bird's eye view of everything that's being loaded the first thing you want to do if you want to see what's going on with everything just click on everything and what this everything tab does it it's it's each of these individual tabs in one view and it's pretty it's pretty loaded with information and if you're not really familiar with computers and how they go this can be a little intimidating but what I like to do is just go to each tab individually so when your computer boots up many things happen uh, the first thing obviously is the bytes is initialized and then it hands off to the operating system which is then loaded and depending on how much hardware you have you have to load all drivers and this tab will tell you exactly what it has to load uh, you can disable these uh, each individual driver if you want but you want to be very careful and understand what what you are disabling it's best to research each of these find out what it is and from there you can disable it. and as you can see there's a uh, the bottom display screen here will tell you what this is a Bluetooth bus driver. So these are some things if you're familiar with it or you have even if you're having a problem, come in here, think you're having a hardware issue or a driver issue, you can uncheck it and see if it helps. Uh, one of the other things that happens during boot times is uh, services have to be loaded. Now there's uh, lots of services that get loaded and these are an example. Um, one of the good things about this is if you mouse over, it'll tell you, you know, what what the service is, what it is. So it gives you great information here. The, the other nice thing is, is this called the image path. This tells you exactly where this uh, service lives and the uh, actual file that gets loaded. So in this case, which is the first one, was the uh, AE lookup service, the AE LUP SVC.DL file gets loaded. Uh, you're probably familiar with some of these here. The AVG, I'm running AVG and virus software, and you can see all processes or services that gets loaded. Many other things happen uh, when you boot. Uh, another thing is, as you can see in the boot execute tab here, is an auto check will happen to check the uh, file system. After it boots, you get presented with the log on screen, and this is like this third phase of, of what happens when you boot your PC with the uh, BIOS and the operating system being the first two. And this tab is going to tell you everything that happens when you log on. And there's two areas that are, you really want to focus on, and that is in one is in the registry with the run key, and the other one is in your startup folder. And let's look at this one in the run key. As you can see um, all the things that are being loaded when I log on. And this is one of the things that you'll notice that um, will probably take time to load, uh, depending on how much stuff you have in here. Now you can disable the, the, these if you want and see if it speeds up your log on time. Um, you can also right click and search online if you're not familiar with uh, what it is. Again, you'll get the image path column here telling you the exact file that's being loaded. Now this is a great tool because as you can see, uh, if you suspect you got some spyware on here, you're not sure, this is going to tell you and you can look it up. Uh, the other thing is is um, what, what happens uh, when you boot and you have items in your startup folder. I didn't have anything but I put these two in here just to show you uh, where they are and I just put it in uh, shortcuts to have the command prompt uh, run and notepad run. And if I wanted to I can just disable them clicking that and I'll leave that running because I like to have the command prompt running. Uh, here's another key that gets uh, loaded. Uh, it, 
uh, when you um, start up and the difference between these two keys is location really this is the uh, current user key and this key here is the local machine key so these two areas now um, if you want you can uncheck these um, you know, here's a, this is interesting what I have two of these um, don't know but you can see one of them is, is unchecked so it must have been an uninstall program but yet it's still probably still in the registry uh, as you can see when you uninstall applications that they sometimes don't clean up after themselves so you get all that garbage in the registry and this is why over time uh, with applications that are written for Windows uh, they when they don't uninstall cleanly they, they leave a mess behind and over time the window uh, your PC just slows down or the operating system slows down so that's why uh, you often hear administrators say uh, just uh, reinstall Windows start from new so this tool is a great tool I advise you to go up to the website and, and uh, download it from system internals and you'll be surprised what you find in here um, but before you uncheck anything or disable a thing look it up make sure you're aware of what it is and and pretty soon you, you'll find out what it is and as you start cleaning up your PC will start booting faster so hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, from watching net.com visit us for more great tips uh, internet tips computer tips and technology tips